I went into Kerbal 2 feeling confident. I'd put away enough time in its predecessor that I was sure I could get into orbit, or even to the moon, or mun as the Kerbals call it, pretty quickly. And in case you can't tell, from the way I'm wording this intro, I was very wrong. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Despite my failures though, vehicle creation is relatively straightforward and a lot of fun. Kerbal Space Program 2 has a new blueprint layout screen and toggleable snap mechanics, so you can get those fuel boosters coupled to your rocket just right, amongst other things. Got another fuel grade, let's see what happens. Oh, well, that didn't go so well. <laughs> Why is my engine not firing? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, we hardly knew you. RIP. Godspeed. God, Godspeed, Steve. <laughs> oh god. Oh. And it really does make a massive difference, especially when you're not exactly technically minded. Much like its predecessor, the game uses its bafflingly complex physics to stealthily teach you a lot of actual science, which makes you feel very big-brained because you can actually understand why you keep crashing in a very expensive fireball. Oh god, oh god, oh dear, oh it's all going very wrong, hasn't it? Controlling the new rover, drones and planes though, now that I was excellent at. You can roll around in a little dune buggy with stabilizers to correct its position. It's more fiddly than it sounds. Hit the direction keys too frequently and you'll end up spinning wildly as you descend back to the planet's surface. Oh god, well I'm never gonna be a pilot either, am I? Oh, you're doing pretty well. Spreading into the abyss. Just <laughs> spinning, come on. You can do better. Yeah, pull it up, come on, pull yeah. up, pull up. Oh god. No, not that way, oh, there. Oh Jesus. Luckily, the new time skip feature makes crashes much less painful to endure. Improved tutorials and UX make the game more approachable to new players, and you can check engineering notes to make sure you're not missing anything essential. You still have to put in the time to learn what rockets need to be successful, but the barrier to entry now has a convenient door in the side. Kerbal Space Program 2 is releasing in early access, so not all of its features will be available right away. I'm particularly looking forward to the multiplayer, where you can create space agencies with their own flags and color schemes. From what we were shown, cooperative working was the key to success, though you can easily view your friends' teams as rivals and race to space. There's a lot more down the road too. Interstellar travel, modding, more complex planets, and in general what feels like a galaxy of content. There's no roadmap to speak of, or even a real idea of when the early access period will close, but the devs want to make sure everything works right before they call it done. We got a lot more out of this preview than what I've talked about in this video, and you can read the whole thing at PCGamer.com. What do you want to see from Kerbal 2? Tell us down in the comments, and whilst you're there, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the PC Gamer channel.